Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. So today's video is going to be my 2020 beauty favourites for drugstore products. My previous video I uploaded was my high-end beauty favourites for the year. So today I wanted to do my drugstore beauty favourites. Now this year I have definitely been impressed with a lot of the new releases from drugstore brands. I definitely think they are upping their game in terms of their quality and of course they are very affordable products so it's always nice to be able to use drugstore products especially on an everyday basis which is what I do just because it's more affordable to replace those products than it is to keep purchasing more high-end brands. So just like my high-end beauty favourites video, I'm going to separate the products into categories and go in order of my face products first and just my makeup routine that I normally do. That way I'm not going to skip out on any products. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you'd like to see my 2020 beauty favourites for drugstore makeup products, then please keep watching. So first off, we're going to start with the face, and I'm going to mention my favourite setting sprays for the year. The first one here I have used so much, and I have replaced it already, that's why it looks almost full, but I do really love this setting spray, and it is from Morphe. This is the Luminous setting spray. I was obsessed with the Continuous setting spray, the one in the black bottle, and then I saw they released the Luminous version, and I definitely wanted to try it out. I have drier skin, so anything with luminosity or shine is definitely up my alley. So I really wanted to try this one, and I love the way it feels on my skin. I'm going to spray a little bit now, actually. I forgot to put some on. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells a little bit like vanilla or coconut. There's some sort of scent to it, but it's very, very pleasant. It's not like a strong, overpowering scent, but... I've definitely loved using this setting spray from Morphe throughout 2020. And my other favourite setting spray has been this one from NYX. This is the Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. NYX has definitely one of the brands that I always go back to and purchase from. I just think their products are such high quality and such good value for money. And I hadn't tried out any of the more skin products from NYX, so I was really interested in trying out this setting spray and I absolutely loved the way it looked on my skin it just gives it that beautiful dewy glowing look to my skin so definitely another favorite product next up is primers and my two favorite primers are from elf i think these primers definitely took over in terms of drugstore primers and it is these two here so we have the elf poreless putty primer this was the original one that came out first and then we also have the luminous putty primer which has a little bit more of a luminous glow to it and these are incredible. This one here is an amazing dupe for the Tarcha Silk Canvas, which is definitely one of my all-time favorite primers, but so much more budget-friendly, and I just love the way it smooths out my skin, especially down my T-zone, my pores, just makes my skin look flawless before I apply my base products, so definitely my favorite primers for 2020. Next up is foundation. I have three different favorite foundations for the year. First of all is my definite most used foundation throughout 2020. This one is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. When I saw that Maybelline was coming out with a hydrating foundation, I was definitely all on board for that. I love anything more hydrating, more glowy for my skin. And this one did not disappoint. It was definitely one of my favorite foundations for the whole year. And the fact that it was drugstore and so affordable was just a bonus. So definitely loved using this foundation. It just gives more of a medium buildable coverage and it just looks flawless on my skin. I am wearing it today and I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this foundation. It just gives the most beautiful coverage and it just looks really beautiful and flawless on the skin. The next foundation I have is from Revlon. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Moisture Glow Foundation. The original candid foundation from Revlon, I definitely love that one. But once again, when I saw they came out with a more moisturizing, hydrating formula, I definitely wanted to try it out. And just like the name says, it's definitely more of a glowing, hydrated look to the skin. This one is a little bit more of a medium, more lighter coverage, not as full coverage as the Maybelline one, but this is beautiful for an everyday, natural looking foundation, which is what I tend to do with this one, and I just love the way that it looks on my skin. And then next we have the NYX Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation. This one is just like your skin but better. It just looks beautiful on the skin. This is definitely a lighter, more sheer coverage, but you can build it up a little bit to more light medium, but it's definitely more of that kind of natural, lightweight look to your skin. And I just love the way that this looks on my skin as well. And I love that it has this beautiful glowing 
finish to it and it just looks incredible on my skin. My skin just looks so natural, so healthy and glowing when I use this foundation. Next up we have concealers. I have my top three favourite concealers. First of all we have from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. The original 16 hour camo concealer, I did love that one but it was a little bit too drying under my eyes. When I saw they released the hydrating version, I definitely wanted to try it out and as you can tell I have used the whole bottle because I loved it so much and I'm definitely going to have to get another one because this is pretty much a really good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape in terms of being a fuller coverage concealer but this one is definitely more hydrating, more liquid and it doesn't crease under my eyes, it doesn't look dry, it doesn't look heavy. So if you're wanting a really good fuller coverage drugstore concealer, I definitely recommend trying this one from e.l.f. Another favourite concealer this year was the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer. This one paired beautifully with both of the Revlon Photo Ready Candid and Candid Glow. This one is definitely more of a medium buildable co coverage concealer. It's a little bit more of a creamier finish, but very hydrating under the eyes especially. Never had any issues with it creasing and it just looks really nice paired with the Revlon foundation or I have tried it with some other foundations and it just looks beautiful on the skin so really nice coverage more of a hydrating finish concealer as well and then I also really loved this one from Colourpop this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this is definitely more of a lighter weight concealer I love using this one on the days where I don't want to wear much makeup at all I just want to put a little bit of concealer bit of powder on this would be the one I would use it just looks so beautiful and natural on the skin hydrating once again and I just find that it covers really beautifully without looking too heavy underneath my eyes and I can just spot conceal on my face and it blends into my skin beautifully as well so definitely a really nice everyday more natural lighter weight concealer next up is powders I have two favorite pressed powders and one loose powder the loose powder is the Colourpop no filter setting powder this one is in the shade banana I love using this one to brighten up under my eyes. If I'm doing more of a full glam look, I love to bake with this powder and I just find it just makes my under eyes look so much more brighter and it just looks really nice on the skin. It's not a heavy finish powder, it's definitely more lightweight so it doesn't look too heavy or too matte on my skin as well. So my favorite loose powder for the year was this one from Colourpop. And for pressed powders, I really loved this one here from Australis. This is the Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. This one has become a cult favorite product of Australis. It's an Australian brand and this powder is incredible. If you're looking for a fuller coverage powder, this one is amazing. This one is in the shade Darkest Brown, but as you can tell, it's definitely more of a natural tone color. So I'm not quite sure why it's called Darkest Brown, but it just is the most beautiful, smooth, creamy finish powder. It is incredible to use on the skin. I use this as a powder foundation if I'm just doing a little bit of concealer on my skin at no foundation and I want a bit more coverage. This is the powder I will go for. It's incredible. Full coverage, hydrated, smooth finish. I just love it. This one from Australis was definitely one of my favorite pressed powders for 2020. And I also really loved the Maybelline Super Stay Powder. This is a long wear waterproof powder foundation. A little bit more medium to full coverage. This one is really nice as well. It's also more of a hydrated creamy finish which is what I prefer with powders having more dry skin. If I wear a really matte finish powder it just shows up on my skin. It doesn't look very nice at all. It makes my skin look really patchy and dry but this one is beautiful. It looks very smooth, very natural on the skin. I like to use this one more to set my foundation and concealer more so than an actual powder foundation it's a little bit more lighter coverage than the Australis one but definitely loved both of these powders next up we have some bronzer and contour products firstly I have a cream product this one here is from wet n wild this is the mega glow contour stick this one is in the shade call me maple and this is such an amazing contour stick it reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Mocha Matchstick, it's not, it's pretty much the same kind of colour, a little bit more warmer perhaps, but this is such a beautiful formula. It's really nice coverage, you only need to use the slightest bit on your skin and it blends out so beautifully as well. So I love this one for the days I'm going for more of a cream look on my skin or I can use this under a powder contour and it just looks beautiful. Adds so much warmth and so much color to my skin it looks amazing and next I have two powder products the first one here is the Colourpop pressed face powder this one is in the shade bronzer it's one of their bronze tone colors this one is a little bit more of a cooler tone so I do like this one to more contour on the skin it's a really nice natural lighter contour shade not too heavy which I prefer 
That way I can build up how much colour I want on my skin. But this one just looks really beautiful and natural. It's a very sheer finish powder. So it's definitely not too pigmented, which is what I like with a bronzer or a contour powder. That way you can build up the amount of colour that you want. So this was definitely one of my favourite bronzing and contouring products. And then I really loved using this one from L'Oreal. This is the Glam Bronze La Terra Powder. This one is so beautiful. It's such a nice big size as well. It's going to take me a while to get through this. This one is a bit more of a warmer toned bronzer. So I like to use this one to bronze up my whole cheeks, my face, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. Once again, a very more lighter toned powder. That way it doesn't look too heavy and it makes it hard to blend out on the skin. It just looks really natural. Gives you that sun-kissed bronzed look. So loved this powder from L'Oreal. Next category is blush, and I have a cream blush product first. This one here is from Maybelline. This is one of the Dream Matte Blushes. I got the shade Koi Coral. This one is so beautiful. It just has the most incredible soft, creamy finish to it. It's not too pigmented, which is good because with cream and liquid blushes, if they're very pigmented, it can be really hard to blend them out and make them look nice and natural on the skin, but this one doesn't do that. It just looks so beautiful and just has the most amazing flush of color to your skin. It looks really healthy and natural. So I really want to try out a few more colors of this one. I only have the one, but I really love the formula. It's very creamy and very easy to blend in. And for powder blush, I have two favorites. The first ones are the Maybelline Fit Me Blush Powders. I have the shades Nude and Coral. I'm wearing Coral on my cheeks today, and these are just staple, beautiful blushes. Very affordable, and the color payoff is just incredible with these. They're a very nice, natural, soft finish with a tiny hint of shimmer in them, but they do not look glittery or anything on the skin. Just give you that beautiful, healthy flush of color. I love the formula of these. They're very smooth and very blendable on the skin as well. And then I also really loved the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush. This one is in the shade Hummingbird Hype. This one is such a beautiful peachy pink with a slight gold reflect to it. Such a beautiful shimmer blush. I don't usually prefer shimmer blushes, but this one is so beautiful. I love to use it even as a blush topper on top of a matte blush, and it just looks so beautiful. Just gives that really nice natural sheen to the skin. It just looks amazing. It makes your skin look really beautiful and glowing. Next up, we have highlighters. First of all, I have a cream highlight stick. This one is from ColourPop. This is one of the light sticks in the shade of Bullseye. This one is a champagne gold cream highlighter. This one is so beautiful. I love to apply this on top of the cheeks, around my forehead, down the center of the face when I'm doing more of a creamy liquid look and it just looks so beautiful. You can also use it underneath a powder highlight to give more of an intense look and it just looks beautiful. It's such a nice creamy blendable formula and it's definitely not too glittery. It has like the perfect amount of shimmer to it. It just looks insane on the skin. And then for powder highlighters, first of all, I really love these ones from Maybelline. I have to be careful because one of them did smash. <laughs> These are the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighters. The Molten Gold is definitely one of my favorite drugstore highlighters I've ever used. This one is just so beautiful on the skin. And then we also have the Rose Gold shade, which I love to use when I'm doing more pink tone makeup looks. The formula of these is insane. Like they are so beautiful and smooth, pigmented, not glittery. I know a lot of drugstore highlighters tend to be on the more glittery side, which I really don't like, but these ones are so creamy and just look flawless on the skin. They just give you that most amazing radiant shine. This is definitely one of my favorite highlighters, and because it's drugstore, it just makes it even better. And I also really loved using the Revlon Skin Lights. These are incredible. I have this shade here on today, which is called Daybreak Glimmer. It's this beautiful champagne gold. It just looks amazing. And the other shade I have is Twilight Gleam. This is a little bit more of a bronzy copper tone. Oh my god, these are incredible as well. They have such a smooth creamy formula and they just glide on your skin and blend in beautifully. Once again, they don't have any glitter, they're more of a sheen and they just look incredible on the skin. They just give you that beautiful, radiant, glowing look. Moving on to some brow products. My favorite brow pencil to use is from NYX. This one here is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love this one. It's definitely a dupe for the Benefit and Anastasia Brow Wiz. These ones are those ones are amazing. I love how this one has the nice thin spoolie on the end. And then it's just a really nice fine pencil, which is really good for adding in nice light brush strokes to give you that really nice natural fluffy look to your brows. 
Definitely one of my favorite brow pencils to use. I also really loved using this one from Maybelline. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. This one is a dupe for the Benefit Micro Filling Pen. It has those three little tiny prongs. And what you do with this is you just flick it through your brows and it just gives this tint of color and it just looks like natural brow hairs. And it gives you that really amazing laminated brow look, which is all on trend at the moment. So another favorite brow product to use through 2020. And then my favorite brow gel was this one here from Maybelline. This is the Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. Uh, this is a colored brow gel. I love colored brow gels. I just find they're so quick and easy to use, especially on the days where I don't want to fill my brows in. I'll just use a tinted brow gel, just go through and comb it through. And this one has really good pigment, so it does look like I've actually applied a brow pencil in my brows, but I haven't. And I also love to use it to just set my brows and keep them in, in place. It's a really nice stronghold brow gel. Moving on to eyeliners, my favorite liquid eyeliner is definitely this one here from NYX. This is the Epic Ink Eyeliner. This one is amazing. It's very pigmented, very black. It is waterproof as well, so it definitely doesn't budge, doesn't smudge, and it just looks amazing on the eyes. It's got a really nice fine tip to create a really nice thin line and also to do a wing. So if you're looking for a really good drugstore liquid liner, which are very hard to find, a lot of the time they're not that pigmented, not too dark black, but this one is a very, very dark black, so I highly recommend this one. And then my favorite pencil crayon eyeliners are the ones from ColourPop. I have so many different shades of these. I love how they come in bright, fun colors, pastels. You have your typical browns and blacks as well. And they just have the most amazing creamy formula. They stay on your eyes and in your waterline so well. They do not smudge. They don't run or anything. They are incredible. I love ColourPop as a brand. I just find their products are such good quality and so affordable. So if you have not tried the ColourPop eyeliners, I highly recommend trying them out. Next up is mascaras. And I have two favorite mascaras that are both from Maybelline. The first one is the Total Temptation Mascara. This one is really nice for adding more length and curl to your lashes. It has a thinner brush. Really good for extending the length of your lashes, just for a nice natural everyday mascara. And then the other one is the Colossal Big Shot. If you are wanting very thick, voluminous lashes, this is the mascara that you need to use. This one is amazing. I love this one. It has a really nice thicker pronged brush and it just really coats your lashes, gives them so much thickness and volume and it looks like you're wearing falsies. Like this is such an incredible mascara. Next up is eyeshadows and hands down my favorite brands for eyeshadows are Morphe and Colourpop. I just think the quality of them is just hands down incredible for drugstore brands. So I do have a few palettes to share with you from both of those brands. First of all, we have from Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. This one is amazing. If you love bright, fun colors, then you will love this palette. I absolutely love the purples and the pinks in this palette. They're so vibrant, so pigmented, so fun to use. The quality of Morphe eyeshadows is just next level. They are so pigmented, blend out seamlessly. The pigment is insane. The shimmers are like so beautiful and bright. They're like pressed pigments. The quality is just everything with Morphe. So I've loved using this palette to create some more fun, brighter looks. But then it also has your beautiful neutral tones at the top, your golds, your browns, just so many amazing fun colors to play with in this palette. And then I have a couple of favorite ColourPop palettes as well. The first one is the Perception palette. This was a collaboration between Makeup Shayla and ColourPop. And I use this palette so much. It's so beautiful. This is just like a perfect blend of neutrals and colorful eyeshadows. I love the mattes down the bottom. They are so beautiful and pigmented. They blend out like a dream, just like Morphe. The quality is just ridiculous with these palettes. And I love these shimmers here. They are incredible. I used to use this rose gold shade like nearly every time I did my makeup. It's such an amazing color. And I got so much use out of this palette this year. Another palette I really loved using is this one here from ColourPop as well. This is the All I See Is Magic. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today and I just love these colors. There's some more kind of deeper tone colors in this palette, which I really like. I use this beautiful eggplant purple, this mid-tone kind of mauve shade, and this really beautiful rosy gold pink tone. I use those three today, but I love all the shades in this palette. There's a really nice mix of some neutrals at the top. There's this beautiful forest green. 
the purples, like I just think there's so many amazing colors to use in this palette. And then lastly, I have a palette which I created myself. This was an empty palette. And then I have some of my favorite individual eyeshadows from ColourPop in here. Some really nice neutrals, some pinks at the top, purples, blues, these beautiful olive greens, forest greens. I love experimenting with color and ColourPop eyeshadows are the perfect brand to do that with. They're so affordable and the quality is just incredible. So love trying out new ColourPop eyeshadows. I definitely have to get some more to fill up the space in here, but I keep more of my kind of fun colors in this palette. Next up is eyelashes and hands down my favorite brand for lashes is Ardell. These are just the most incredible eyelashes that I use all the time. They just complement my eye shape beautifully as well. The Demi Wispies are probably my favorite ones because they're a little bit shorter and they're more kind of curved out at the sides. And the other ones I'm wearing today are the Ardell Wispies. These just look amazing on my eyes. I do have slightly more hooded eyes. So I can't wear lashes that are really thick and long because it just covers my whole eyeshadow look that I've done. So these ones just have the perfect amount of volume and length, but they just enhance your eyes and just make your eye look just look a little bit more dramatic, but nothing too full on. So definitely love the Ardell Beauty Lashes. And the last category we have is lips. First of all, I have lip liners. I have a couple of favorite brands of lip liners. First of all, we have the NYX lip liners. These ones are just insane. I love the NYX liners. My favorite shades are definitely London, which is like the most beautiful neutral brown tone. And we also have natural and soft spoken. These are really beautiful neutral pink and more of a movia pink color. And then I also love the shade hot red for a beautiful bright red lipstick. These are really beautiful pigmented more pencil lip liners and they just give incredible pigment. You could fill your whole lips in with these and they look amazing but I can pair these with all different lipsticks and they just look amazing and the color payoff is really beautiful. Next, I really love the ColourPop lip liners. The formula of these is insane. Once again, very pigmented. These are more of the crayon finished lip liners. I have the shades BFF3 and the BFF4, which was the Shayla ColourPop collaboration. These ones, if you're looking for brown lip liners, these two are incredible. They just give you the beautiful, more of a neutral brown tone. This one is a nice deeper brown if you want to go for more of a brown lipstick as well. These two just look incredible and the formula is so pigmented and so creamy on the lips. And then lastly, I have the Morphe lip liners. These are so incredible. They're probably one of my favorite formulas of lip liners. I love these shades. We have Backseat Love, which is a beautiful neutral pink. Sweet Tea, which is this beautiful neutral brown. And then we also have Love Bite, which is a bit more of a deeper mauve brown tone. These are comparable to MAC lip liners in my opinion. The pigmentation is incredible and the colors are amazing and they just feel nice and comfortable on the lips. They are really nice and smooth and creamy as, as well. So love these lip liners from Morphe. Next up is lipsticks and I have these NYX lipsticks here, which I've really loved using throughout 2020. These are the Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipsticks. I have the shades Corset and Push Up. Push Up is definitely my go-to everyday shade. It's a little bit more of a neutral pinky brown. And then Corset is a really nice nude brown lip color. But the formula on these are amazing. Like the name says, they are very long lasting. They are very creamy. They're a matte finish, but they do not feel dry on the lips whatsoever. They last all day long I can eat and drink and the lip color does not come off with these so the formula is definitely amazing and then for liquid lipsticks I've loved these ones from L'Oreal these are the ultra matte liquid lipsticks the Le Chocolate collection and they smell like chocolate they smell incredible I am wearing this shade here today which is called Dose of Cocoa it's a little bit more of a mauvey pink tone and then this one here is called Box of Chocolates which is a really nice beautiful neutral brown tone these just, the formula is everything for me. They're very smooth, very creamy, more of a semi-matte finish. They don't dry down too matte, but they do last really well on the lips and they feel very comfortable as well. And then lastly, we have lip glosses. I have two favorite brands of lip glosses. The first one is Milani. I absolutely love this lip gloss. It literally stayed in my purse for such a long time. This is one of the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. This is in the shade Luminoso. I am obsessed with the Milani Luminoso blush, and this is definitely that blush in a lip gloss. It's a beautiful pink with some gold shimmer reflex, and it is a lip plumper, so it does have that slight peppermint feel on your lips. It just makes them look really full and plump, and so 
I can use this lip gloss over all different types of nude lipsticks and it just looks incredible. It just gives that beautiful shine and adds that little bit more of a glossy look as well. And lastly, I have these two glosses from Maybelline. These are the Lifter glosses. I've only had these for about a month or two, but they have quickly become one of my favorite glosses I've ever used. They are so pigmented and high shine. I am wearing one today and I'm just in love with this formula. The shade I'm wearing today is called Silk, which is this one here. It's a more of a neutral pink. And then the other shade I have is Stone, which is such an amazing neutral brown tone. I'm just in love with this formula. It's so comfortable to wear. It's not sticky and it just gives you the most beautiful high shine look to your lips. So I just, I love these glosses. If you haven't tried them yet, I definitely recommend trying them out. So those are all of the products in my drugstore beauty favorites for the year of 2020. Let me know in the comments down below what were some of your favorite drugstore products that you tried throughout the year. And also let me know what were your favorites that I mentioned in today's video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you would join my little YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.